Hello everyone, my name is Dev Ashish and I welcome you all to this IDA Pro video tutorial series. So this is the very first video of the uh, of this particular IDA Pro series. Uh, so and this is going to be a introductory video of IDA Pro. So in this video, I'll try to make the viewers comfortable with IDA Pro if they are not already. Uh, so if you have already been using IDA Pro for quite some time and you are quite familiar with all this uh, GUI and options that it provides, you can skip this video and move to the next one. Uh, so if you are just getting started with IDA Pro, I'll request you to watch this video till the end and then only move forward to the next one. Uh, so I'll start with some of the basic usage of IDA Pro. After that, I'll slowly move forward towards some of the advanced usage, uh, which will be definitely useful for some of the advanced malware analysis and advanced vulnerability research. Uh, so in this particular tutorial, I'll be using the free version of IDA Pro, which is uh, which you can download freely from the internet on the Hexers from Hexers website. Uh, so so without wasting any further time, let's get into it. Uh, so the program that I'm going to um, disassemble using IDA Pro is ipconfig.exe, uh, which is obviously you know part of uh, Windows operating system. Uh, so and, uh, so this is how you do it. Uh, you first have to open IDA Pro, or you can simply drag and drop this uh, exe file to it, and I and you have to go to new. And you have to select the binary you want to open and here you are selecting whether you know it's uh, it, it has detected that it's a AMD 64 DLL file um, P file portable executable file so you have to select this one and press OK IDA Pro is asking you whether it should download the symbol server uh, symbols uh, for this executable from Microsoft symbol server so um, for to be able to download symbol from symbol server you need uh, internet access in your virtual machine so for the time being i'm going to you know connect my system to uh, the internet uh, so as you can see i have the connectivity now uh, if i just do yes now uh, yes so it has actually downloaded the PDB files from the Microsoft Symbol server and it has populated. So if we would not have selected, uh, you know, to download the symbol from Microsoft Symbol server, you would not have seen these names here, uh, right in this function window. Uh, let me just disable this uh, internet, okay. Uh, so uh, instead you would have seen some of the function names like sub underscore function address like that. So since you have, you have we have chosen to you know download symbols from the symbol server, uh, you are seeing all these function names which is actually you know getting fetched from that PDB file it has downloaded. Okay, so now let's see the GUI first. So in the left side of the um, IW interface, what you see is a function window. Here actually you uh, get a couple of interesting information such as the function name is uh, the left in the, on the left side. Uh, if you don't have symbol, you are going to see something like sub underscore the function address. And this is the start address of this, this function. Uh, I'll exp try to explain a bit more about start. So what is start? So the start address is basically calculated from the base address where this particular uh, library uh, is loaded. Uh, so since uh, it is a static disassembler, right, uh, it is not loaded into memory, but in IDA Pro actually, you know, uh, IDA Pro actually sets up a uh, base, uh, sets up a base address uh, when it loads any library. So uh, this is the start address of this function where it is actually getting started in memory and this is the length. Uh, so length is calculated uh, actually based on the end address. Uh, subtracting the start address from the uh, from the end address and th these are you know number of argument that it takes and uh, different you know the permission of the memory where it is placed so all this information are present in this function window and after that uh, we'll move on to uh, this main window where you have see couple of tabs by default in the free version. So this is the IDA view uh, As you can see you are able to see the uh, main functions uh, disassembly uh, So uh, you can right click on it and go to text view and you will see something like this mm, This is almost similar, but you know if it is a very complex function graph view actually really helps 
as you can see uh, this is you know you you can understand the control flow of this particular function when you have this graph view uh, so sometimes it is uh, most of the time it is really helpful when you actually switch to graph view you can it can you know it can help you understand where it is looping through different different uh, control flow trees and everything and after that what you get is the hex view where you actually see the hex dump of uh, it could be functions local variables or any part of the binary that you have loaded and after that it it uh, gives you you know some idea um, of the uh, it it shows you the structures so structure actually uh, i'll come back to this later on in some of our advanced tutorials so how to you know uh, how you can actually parse or actually recreate some of the structures while reverse engineering any binary and after that you ha we have enums and after that you have imports and exports so export actually we are seeing empty because it's a exe file it is not exporting anything so th this is only showing the main function uh, however if you open a dll file uh, within ip uh, within ida pro you are going to see a lot of export entries you are supposed to see a lot of export entries which are actually exported from the dll so and imports are uh, basically uh, the external libraries that you know ipconfig.exe uses to execute so for example what you can see here uh, this is actually uh, dnsapi.dll it is importing dnsapi.dll and it is utilizing these functions from this dnsapi.dll and after that it also uses iphlpi.dll and it uses these 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 functions from that particular dll and as you can see there are a long list of functions uh, that actually you know it it uh, fetches from the external libraries or uh, you can say it loads those external libraries and you know ex uh, use this particular this this set of functions so yeah that's about it and i'll quickly move on to the you know the other window that you see here uh, why i'm not able to maximize it yeah uh, okay uh, so these are here you get to see a lot of logs here so uh, wherever uh, whatever uh, suppose you are starting up any operation within ida pro you are going to see logs here you know what operations are currently being performed in the background so those things you should be able to see here and this is actually the idc script shell you can directly execute your idc um, you know idc script stuffs over here uh, to automate some of your you know reverse engineering effort i'm going to you know um, sh show some of the basic example how to write idc script and automate reverse engineering stuffs and let's uh, move on to some of the other stuffs what we have here uh, so since this is free version a lot of options are not present uh, in the pro version you are going to get a lot of other options as well Mm, this I'm going to touch some of the important you know uh, things that you might get in this edit option as you can see this is segment is quite important so mm, by default when you load any program in IDA Pro it actually you know uh, it sets a uh, base address uh, so if you want to for some reason if you want to you know rebase your program you have to go to segments and you have to go to rebase program and there you have to you know uh, re-enter the base address of the program so once you change it it is going to you know rebase the entire program so for example i'll just you know change two two bytes from here and as you can see here it has you know uh, rebase the program and what will happen now the start address what you see what you see in the function window that also will change if you rebase the program uh, in here you will you know find a few options such as jump to address so suppose you have a particular address and you want to directly jump to that address so what you can do just go to jump address enter the address here and it will directly take you to that particular function and jump to segments jump to register jump to problem there are, i mean uh, so instead instead of you know explaining every small things in this introductory video what i thought i'll be it will be better if i you know uh, explain all this option one by one once we you know uh, move forward in this video tutorial series uh, so there are a lot of search options as well suppose if you want to search any text uh, you can use this option to you know look for text which is uh, quite which can be really useful uh, for you know if you are looking for particular you know uh, key or you know serial number or uh, error messages within your program uh, so you can just do like this for example if you search for ipconfig 
as you can see uh, these are the places where you know it has found this IP config string uh, in this particular binary uh, so yeah this is quite useful option for you know reversing uh, any software and after that IDA Pro actually also contains a debugger uh, so you can actually do runtime debugging also using IDA Pro uh, so this particular you know option is you know dedicated to that uh, as you can see you have some option uh, you have some option like you know start process attach to process process information it allows uh, some tracing as well tracing watches breakpoints um, and okay so these are the these are some of the basic things uh, that you uh, we will be using in this you know uh, video tutorial series uh, so since this is the this was a very introductory video uh, I'm not going to get into much details of you know this uh, so I hope uh, it was useful for you I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye bye